everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shear. In this video, I wanted to go ahead and discuss how we go ahead and scan edentulous arches with locator abutments in place. We have a couple of options. We can scan either with the housings on the actual locator abutments or with the locator scan bodies. In this video, let's go ahead and talk about utilizing our intraoral scanner to scan edentulous arches with locator and just simply placing the locator housings themselves onto the locator abutment. I have a patient with has a maxillary implant case with implants approximately in the 6, 7, 10, and 11 region. We place standard legacy locator abutments in on top of the implants. I torque the abutments down after confirming the complete adaptation with a radiograph. Rather than just jumping right into the intraoral scan, sure you could go ahead and scan the edentulous ridge with the locators, but then we're kind of guessing at the actual you know, position of where the housing is going to be in the laboratory side of things. What I like to do is go ahead and utilize the actual housings that go on top of the locator abutment and then place those on the locator abutment and then simply scan uh, with my intraoral scanner. So I placed on my locator abutment housings. Now we're ready to go ahead and start scanning, utilizing my intraoral scanner. Once I have my intraoral scanner set up, I've selected here my three-shaped trio scanner, intraoral edentulous scanning, which turns on AI scan mode. I'll begin by going on the pre-maxilla area of the edentulous ridge. My assistants and I are holding the cheeks fairly taut. Then we do like a bob and weave as we go across into the most distal or most posterior aspect of the arch. And then right around the hard palate and soft palate, we do like a wax on, wax off type motion. Once I've completed the entire maxillary arch, hard palate, and the ridges, I can then pull the soft tissues kind of taut and then start leaning into the back areas, making sure that I don't move the soft tissues in the vestibule while scanning. It's imperative that we keep everything fairly stable while we scan. Then you'll notice here that I'm scanning kind of fairly flat, trying not to use the scanner to push the vestibule, but capturing all of the anatomy of the locator abutment housings. I'm trying not to emphasize too much of trying to make sure that I pick up all the details of my locator housings at first. I want to make sure I capture the entire vestibule all the way across prior to going back to kind of dial in a little bit of those details. Notice here that we've captured pretty much everything now of the edentulous uh, ridge and then also the vestibular area in the anterior. Now I'm going to go back and just kind of touch up a little bit and if I ever get lost I go back to the pre-maxilla where I first got started. Then I'll go to that posterior aspect which is oftentimes one of the more difficult parts to go ahead and detail and pick up. Why? Because I have to shift my hands and move around which causes the vestibule to move a little bit on us. But overall, we can see we've done a pretty good job of scanning that entire maxillary ridge. Now at this point, we can go back in and pick up a little bit of the details around our actual locator abutment housings. Notice here that these are the metal housings that you would use just in your denture. The nice thing about doing it this way is, is you'll provide to the laboratory the exact position where the housings go. So then when the laboratory technician gets these scans back, the technician can build the proper spacing in and around those housings for your locator pickup. I don't have to pick up all the crazy amount of details here, so it, I'm just going back and touching up some of the big voided areas just to make sure that the scanner doesn't delete everything. Overall, you can see the quality of the final scan when we're completed, it just simply using the locator abutment housings.